Hi YouTube and happy Monday. In this second HP Palm Top video of the week, I'm going to talk a little bit about the built-in calculator that is documented that you can easily find in the application manager. I got a request for this video from a user whose name I've forgotten, but once I find it, I'll highlight I'll highlight the user's name in the description. Let me go ahead and open up our palm top here. Just be very gentle with that. My classic HP 200LX with 2 megabytes of RAM. Let's tilt the camera down a little bit and turn this on to get us straight into one of the sub-programs of this calculator application. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and quit, and I'm going to open up that application with this green key here for HP Calc. Yeah, I think with this camera angle, you'll see it. You'll see it best. We've got plenty of RAM free, 431k of 533, so I have no worries about pressing this HP Calc button. Okay, and that's dropping us back into the solver where I was playing around a little bit before this video. Let me go ahead to the menu and switch to the math mode. Okay, so you can see that there's a lot of different applications, especially business and financial focused ones. I'll zoom in on that menu so you can see all of it. There's time value money, cash flows, business percentages, solver, which I'll talk about a little bit in addition to TVM, list statistics, conversions might be fun, math, custom, uh, date calcs, and arithmetic. I don't think there's any programmability per se in here, but there's really a lot that this, this program packs in to something so small. There's, you know, even a, a equation plotter. This is, you know, a graphing calculator application. There's different ca uh, options here. I, I just want to show you before I go to the uh, math subpage, this about calculator information page. There was an HP uh, calculator application on the 95LX, which I think is why it's copyright 1990. I'll talk about that in my next video. And this newer version was developed in 1993 for the 200, 100 and 200 LX palm tops with their nice, cool CGA displays. Okay, so what I had said earlier, I'll finally uh, do. I'll make good on that promise by opening up the um, math application. Humorously enough, I can see on the stack some numbers from solving y equals sine of x. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom out just a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and go again to the menu and clear the stack. I can clear data, I can clear the stack, I can clear registers. You can store data in different registers using store and recall functions as you would on a standard calculator. And then this calc line which is at the bottom. So we'll see here by default this is set up to be algebraic, but you can um, also set this up to be RPN. So maybe I'll, I'll try and do both. 5 times 6 is 30. That's true. 30 divided by 3 is 10. I think I should zoom in again here. You can see along the bottom menu that there's you know help option, Pi, sine, cosine, tangent, oh wow, uh, arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent, and then more uh, particular uh, functions for the calculator here, converting to degrees, radians, oh wow, I'm struggling to see this with my poor eyes here. Um, I think that says... HR or HB. Let me take a look at that real quick here. That's really unfortunate that I'm not reading that too well. 
there's different uh, x coordinate, y coordinate radius functions. I think some kind of um, polar rectangular conversion. I'm just going to take this out of the way really quick and make sure I can read it too. Yes, that said hr. Okay, so we'll return the cal or return the palm top where it was. And here you can see see different functions for probability. You can generate random numbers and put those on the stack. You can generate combinations and permutations. Uh, oh well, four, enter, uh, five, enter. Let's do, let's see what that gives us. Okay, yeah, uh, not, not quite what I had intended. And let's see what else we have. Then we go back to the beginning and we, pretty sure this is the beginning, we have round, uh, integer part, fractional part, absolute value, natural log, e to the x logarithm, 10 to the x, and then we get back to trigonometric functions. Okay, so you can see it clearly there's a lot of different functions available within this, this uh, mathematics, mathematics sub-application. For options, I can change the calculator mode to, um, let me use a tab here, I'll leave that in degrees. Uh, oops. Change it to RPN. Now I can just do something like that times, oops, strange, um, 5, enter, 6, enter, oh, okay, so, so, um, I need to brush up on my RPN, let's clear the stack, let's do 5, enter, and 6 times, and we get 30, okay, yeah, so that's how, how RPN should do it. Okay, so I'm going to very quickly go into uh, TVM. I'll try to keep this video to about 12 or 13 minutes. Let's see what we can set here. Okay, so we can try uh, something where we have um, annual interest. Oh gosh, 30%, that's, that's a scam. 3% uh, interest, uh, present value of 10,000. I have our little interest calculator here. And um, payments of, I don't know, 100. And then go ahead and um, see how to calculate here. Okay. Okay. Oh, oops. Um, let me delete that. Zero, zero. Uh, future value. Okay, so it's calculating payments and, and future values here. Delete that. Payments per year. Okay. Yeah, I'm not quite... Um, that right, number of periods. Uh, oops. Let's change that again. Oh well. Okay. Um, Future value, 20,000, and I guess we'll calculate payments here. I guess this is for, for um, hmm. Okay, anyway, I'll have to, you know, go back and, and uh, look at that further. Maybe I should look at uh, help instead of embarrassing myself here. Each payment is identical, compound interest investment imbalance, regular intervals. Two payments you make are 
are negative and money you receive is positive. Oh, okay, that's, duh, that's why I was, was not understanding this. Displays amortization screen. You can see there's really nice, nice help menus included here. Stores number of payments or you're calculating. Calculates total number of payments or compounding periods. Nominal annual interest rate as percentage. Okay, so maybe if I did something like um, uh, 100 shift and then calculate future value. Yeah, maybe that would make sense. Or maybe not. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'll have to come back to that. Let's now go to I th what I think is the most exciting of the applications here. This is the solver application. We can do things like um, plotting different equations or solving for roots, places where the where y equals zero and the corresponding um, x value there. Okay, so let's try plotting uh, auto scale. Um, or cosine function. Remember this is in degrees. You can see that 8186 processor nicely slowly plotting that, that uh, function. We can zoom out a bit here. And now you can really nicely see that, that function being plotted. So this is, you know, a real hidden hidden gem of a calculator and hidden function that I don't think, you know, I really appreciated much on my on my um, uh, uh, HP Palm Tops. This uh, graphing calculator and fully functioned calculator with scientific functions and financial functions. Okay, let's go ahead to uh, solving this. Oh, and this is very interesting. So we can see. Very beautifully here, uh, one of the roots at um, x equals x equals uh, 90, it says up there in the corner, and y equals 0. That's a nice combination of the plotting and the solve function. Let me um, exit from this and just shift to the uh, solver function. Okay, I'll clear that. Let's try setting y to um, y to 0 here. I'll press F2 to set y to 0. Enter and then F3. And I'll solve for the x, for an x value that that um, is is a root where y is 0. And indeed, 1 squared minus 1 is 0. So that is a solution that this finds automatically. There's also an iterative method as is mentioned in the help function that will let you use guesses um, to help solve the function. Press any key, type a number if necessary, type a second number and press F key again. Press search variables F key to restart calculation. Okay, so let's try something like um, uh, one, oops, negative one for uh, X. Yeah, we can see that's also a root. Okay, so that is is successful there. I'll stop this just in a few more seconds. Stops and displays its best guess. Type a number. Okay, so let's try something like. Thank you. Five. Enter. Um, 
Now we can do F2. And it calculates Y is 24 for when X is 5. Okay, so I'll have to get into this a bit more deeply, but this all shows you the solver function in the um, built-in calculator. You can make an equation list. I'm not sure if you can solve multiple equations at once. I, th I think you can, but I'll have to look into that um, further. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this quick demo of the uh, built-in financial financial and scientific uh, calculator on the HP 200LX. Uh, tomorrow I'll go ahead and, and go through and show you the equivalent program on the original HP DOS Palm Top, the HP 95LX. I hope this was interesting and entertaining. Please leave your thoughts, suggestions, or questions in the comments down below. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe as always. Thanks for watching and have a great one.